Many reporters who use parentheticals with time references use a placeholder that has to be filled in manually, such as this one, caret, space, time. Before you can replace the placeholder, you have to figure out the correct time. If you use timestamps, you can just check the timestamps for that line. If you don't use timestamps, you need to remember to check your watch, or your computer's clock, or your cell phone, or some other device to determine the time and make a note of it somewhere, so that you'll know what time to fill in later when editing. But there's no need to work that hard. It's much easier and more efficient to let Case Catalyst fill in the time reference automatically. To accomplish this, you simply need to define the steno for the parenthetical in the dictionary entry that uses static time field as the placeholder for the correct time. Let's walk through this by creating a new proceedings concluded parenthetical. Open the personal dictionary and press Control I to insert the new entry. Type the steno you write for the parenthetical. KHR asterisk UD. Press Tab to move to the text field. Click the FS button and select the parenthetical. Then type my usual text, Proceedings concluded at. Rather than type caret space time, I'll click the Insert Field button and scroll down to the Static Time Fields. A static time field references the timestamp associated with the steno when it is written, and when the parenthetical translates, it automatically fills in the correct time. There are two options for static time references. Using a 12-hour clock, which will add an AM or PM to the time reference, or using a 24-hour clock. Now that I have the best possible placeholder for this spot, I'll type a close paren to end the parenthetical and click OK. Then I'll save my changes and close the dictionary. From now on, when I'm writing and translating, when I write the steno for my proceedings concluded parenthetical, the time reference appears automatically. Nothing extra for me to edit.